Hi everyone, welcome back to SGTV. So today we're not in our normal studio. We've broken into Nick Bundy's little Bundy bunker where he does all of his little filming. As you can see here, this is where he does all his little videos and eating pizza and drinking coke and things like that. So let's see what else he's got lying around here. This is his little soundproof bit that he's got here. Hi Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone and thank you for joining us once again here at SGTV. So today I'm back with Nick Bundy, we're on site and Nick is going to be installing one of our new Elucian consume units. So over to you Nick. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm here today with SGTV. Uh, we're going to have a look at the new Elucian fuse board by Click. Uh, so they've brought out a few different ranges and types. So we, first of all, we've got a split load board, we've got a split load SPD board, we've got our combination board, which is the UME's high integrity, we've got our straightway board, which is RCBOs, and also we have garbage fuse boards as well. So I'm gonna open this up, have a look. I've just picked up this from my local wholesaler. So we're uh, gonna open up, have a look, see what's in. First of all, it's packaged quite nicely. You've got the cardboard around the side, and we've had it loads of times before where fuse board's been dropped in transit and you get some dents and knocks on the side. At least with this, it's got a bit more added protection. Straight away, sticker sheet. It's nice and clear, it's nice and bright, it's glossy. We've got spare ways as well to write on, and on top of it as well, we've got quite a few nice symbols as well, all to the modern stuff for car chargers, all the way back down to solar and uh, lighting sockets, your usual stuff. So it's nice to see, nice thought out sheet. Right, the board itself. So this is a 12-way board with 10 usable ways, a 100 amp main switch. Around the sides, we've got our knockouts, all various sizes, 20 mil to 35 for our tail glands, and on the bottom as well. Let's open this up and have a look inside. One little thing that I've just noticed with that is we've got our rubber bungs on the back of the screws to stop them falling out, which is a nice little feature. Inside the board, we've got a buzz bar with a plastic covering on top, a second bag, two grommet strips, some blanks, and also some MCB blanks, which is nice to see that they're actually in the board itself rather than have to buy them separately. The screws we have on the terminals on the neutral and the earth bar are actually backed off screws as well so it prevent them from falling out, especially in transit where we've had it in the past with the vibrations. You open the board up sometimes and the screws are everywhere. Another few key features, sticker on the back of the board up the top. That's got our torque settings for our main switch, earth and neutral bars, RCDs, SPDs, MCBs and RCBOs, which is nice to see. Also, we've got a nice little tails clamp on top of the main switch. Uh, other than that, it's a nice neat little board. Um, it's clearly labelled, nice and big and uh, the, the numbers actually line up with the terminals, which makes a change. That wasn't a dig at you guys, I mean, in general. Most of the time, someone chucks a sticker on. They're all, anyway. So overall, nice little neat board, and uh, look forward to fitting it. So we're back here with Nick, so Nick, you've just put this up on the wall. So first of all, just tell us about how you found the installation. Simple, to be fair, easy. So start with a few key features. So tails clamp, initially, I was trying to put the tails in first, get the hard stuff out of the way. So do many manufacturers have tail clamps? Not many, not installed in the board from manufacturer. Uh, it opened up all the way, it was an easy clamp, good screw in it, a few of the screws we've had before, they burr as you tighten them up, this one was sound. Uh, going up, nice big labeling, it might seem simple, but the big numbers on the label of the neutral and the earth bar is nice and big to see what's going in what. Uh, drop it down a bit, space between the termination bars and the top of the RCBOs, loads of room. I like to make the boards neat, I like to do bigger loops, loads of space to do that, key feature like that. I'd also like to mention some of the protection devices we've got. So you've already seen the main switch, some of the RCBOs and the blanks. But we've got a few here that Nick's picked out. So Nick, what have we got? Yep, so we've got a surge protection device, SPD, we've got an RCD, we've got an RCBO, and also we've got MCBs, all in different various ranges as well. Going across to the blank at the end, obviously some manufacturers don't include them at all in the board. So this is a great feature with that. You don't have to buy them or you get to attach the board and then you you haven't got anything to spare. And a lot of them, they have plastic yeah. sheet, don't yes, they? Yes, they so. have the plastic sheet that slide into the lid, which is no good, especially if you lifted it up, you can poke them out, you know, kids can access it. 
These are built in, once they're in the lids on, there's no getting it out. And then drop it below as well. Obviously you've got the buzz bar with the plastic sheath, but a little key feature that I found when I was installing it, I didn't see before, is it has little plastic ends on it. So the copper is completely concealed. You know, if you ever accidentally touch the side of it, the copper was still there. This one, little clips in. So overall, really neat, nice, easy board to use. So we've got five different variants from the Elysian range. You've got your straightway, you've got your combination units, you've got your split load, split load with surge protection and your garage ones. You can use them in your sheds, things like that. And each variant of those, there's different sizes as well. So no matter what job you need, you can really find your way with the Elysian range. <laughs> so, anyway, here's some we found earlier in Blue, yes. in Blue Peter style. So, based on the kind of work you do day to day, domestic through to commercial, yeah. would you say anything that you need to do? These boards can do, yeah. Yeah, so obviously I'm mainly domestic. We would normally fit 12 to 14 way boards, allow them a couple of extra blanks, like we said earlier, for future. Um, we normally fit the RCBO boards, so it'd be this one with a few extra ways maybe a few spare blanks in it and away we go yeah great great little board for it yeah. let's talk about the packaging actually i know one thing we we like to do at click is make sure everything looks good make sure it's modern and nice and bright nice and clean yeah clean like the white like the orange eye catching compared to other brands be able to spot this on the whole side of shelves exactly and it's clearly on the side so the box for this one is a 14 way split load board with spd nice big grind on the side that's it so thumbs up from you then nick for these two thumbs Two thumbs up, there you go. Right, thanks for coming on again, Nick. Cheers, mate. Hope you've enjoyed this video on Consume Units here at SGTV in the uh, Nick Bundy studio. The Bundy bunker, there yeah. you go. Bundy bunker, that's <laughs> a bit scary. Really. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> right, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.